Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle and this week I'm back with another DIY and I'm going to show you guys how to make this DIY rainbow abacus. This might be one of the cutest DIYs that I ever did and maybe one of the most challenging ones for myself personally because I've never really used too many power tools but I decided that this year is one of the years I really want to try using some more power tools and getting more involved with different DIYs and seeing what I can create so this was my first project and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. For this project you just need a few different things like a piece of wood, you're going to need some of the gold hoops as well as some wood beads or you can use silicone beads, whatever ones that you think that will go on and feed through the gold hoops. To start off, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about where I got the materials for this DIY. To start off, you're going to need a block of wood. This is a 2 by 4 You can pick this up at your local hardware store. I'm going to put all the measurements that I use in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Next, you're going to need some gold hoops. Once again, I have four different ones, but I'm going to put the sizing of them down below for you guys because I can't quite remember right now. I believe it's a 12-inch, 10, oh no, 14, 12, 10 and 8 but I'm definitely going to put it down below for you guys and I found this just at a local craft store and as well as you're going to need some wood beads which was also found at a craft store but I'm going to link a different options from Amazon that you can have down below if you just want an easy way to pick up all these materials. Instead of wood beads you could also use silicone beads but you want to make sure that they are going to have you're going to pick beads that will thread through the hoop as they are a little thick so you want to make sure like the smaller beads that I have on my abacus are a little more stiff than I probably would have liked but I mean it still works or you can use a tool and drill a hole a little bit larger that is another option. The last thing you're going to need is a dremel and you might have another tool at home that you could use for this project but I was pretty excited about this dremel because it is one of the first kind of power tools that I ever bought myself and it was just really fun to learn how to use it and not only did it let me drill the holes into the wood so the hoops would fit into it but it also allowed me to cut the metal hoops in half and I found this was the most challenging part as I've never cut metal before so I just didn't know how to do it but I'm going to put all the information down below for you guys on what tools and little heads on the Dremel that I use to cut the metal just so you guys have that all information down below. Now let's get into the DIY and I'm going to show you guys how you can make the DIY rainbow abacus. The first step is you have your wood, it's probably cut down to size already, they do this at the hardware store for you, and you just want to sand it down. I did have a clip of myself sanding this but it got lost somewhere in the universe of the internet, I don't know where it went, but you want to sand it down to make sure it's a nice, soft, smooth surface. The next step is you could either paint it if you would like, you could do a stain. I want to keep mine just a natural wood color. I did do a little stain on it, but nothing too major. I basically just kept the natural wood color, which I was really happy with. Next is to cut our metal hoops. I used the Dremel for this, and as mentioned, I'm gonna put the information for you guys in the description box below of what tools I used on the Dremel to cut the metal in half. And what I did first was I looked for the little mark within the hoop and it has kind of like a part where they welded it together. And I used that as a halfway point so that's where I first cut. But I used a ruler to measure straight across and marked with a sharpie to make sure I was doing two perfect halves of the metal hoop. Repeat this with your other three hoops and in the end you're going to have eight pieces. So if you really want while you're making this DIY, you might as well make two of them, get two pieces of wood. I kind of thought about this after I kind of started going with it. Just do two at once and you can give one to a friend. Now you have the wood done. You have your two by four all painted. It's ready to go. The metal hoops are all cut. So now you want to focus on the beads. I chose to go with some wooden beads, but you could also, like I mentioned, go with silicone beads that are already painted. I think this would look super cute. I attached all the beads onto a string and then attached those to two sides of a table that I was using. And then just made sure I put something underneath to catch any drips of paint that might come off and just painted the beads that way. That is just the best way I found to make sure it worked. You guys might have another way 
But either way, you just want to get your beads painted and pick four colors. Or maybe you want to do all one color, whatever you want to do, and wait for those to dry. Next, take your piece of wood and mark where you want to drill the holes for your metal hoops to go into. I started with my largest hoop, making sure it was even on both sides. And then one thing I learned is because some of the beads are larger, you want to make sure that you have enough space in between here. So make sure when you're measuring it that you have the beads on your metal hoops just to make sure when you're moving up and down, the beads are not gonna hit themselves. Mark all eight spots where you're gonna drill holes and then use the Dremel once again. I'm gonna put the tip that I use down below in the description, but you could also use a regular drill if you have that at home and carefully and safely drill the holes. The last step is to thread your beads onto your metal hoops and then place some wood glue either on the metal hoop or into the little hole that you just drilled and place the hoop into the hole. Hold it in place for a few moments just to make sure it's not gonna move anywhere. And a little tip that I found is because as you have your beads and you're putting the wood glue down here, your beads are gonna fall down obviously because you already threaded them on. So a tip I did was I just put a little piece of tape up here and then that kept my beads holding up so it wasn't going down and eventually sticking the last bead to the wood board because then it just wouldn't move and that wouldn't work. Last but not least, just wait for the wood glue to completely dry and you are done. additions I just thought of that you could do for this project is if you have a way to engrave names like a wood engraver you could easily engrave your child's name right here and put I think I could put Everly and now that I think of it, I'm like that's really cute and I'm pretty sure Dremel does that as well see it's just the greatest power tool that I've ever bought well first one I ever bought but I'm so pretty excited about it so I think that would be a really cute addition that you could put there I hope you guys like this DIY. Make sure you go check out my other DIY videos. I'll put some up here that are going by if you want to check them out. And as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. Please make sure to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as I'm back all the time with different DIYs. I'm going to start getting back into some vlogs with Everly. So make sure you subscribe for all of that. And as always, if you do try this DIY, please let me know on Instagram. Send me a photo as I love seeing how you guys create these DIYs in your own little way. So definitely share that with me on there. As always, thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye.